just arrived uh, today at Belo Horizonte, and now we are on the way to uh, Itabira, where we will start tomorrow to visit uh, Emerald Mine in the uh, Itabira Nova Era area. This is the first time I visit uh, Brazil for gem mining area, and this is actually also my first time at uh, Belmont. And it will be quite interesting because this is one of the most famous and the most uh, largest and probably the most modern uh, emerald mine in the world. The fascinating story about Belmont is that it all started with cattle. The owner of the Belmont Ranch was uh, digging a, a pond in honor for cattle to be able to have water. And this is when they build, uh, they dig for, for this water, that they found some uh, green crystal. Then, you know, people started to come to search for emerald. And uh, over the years, the Belmont family was able to turn this discovery into uh, one of the most modern and most uh, profitable emerald mining operations in the world. Thanks to the knowledge and the experience about mining iron, he was able to uh, develop this uh, emerald mine and turn it into a very successful business. You can see that uh, the mine is located in a valley where there was a cattle ranch, and just along the mine you have the railroad that is exporting the iron from Itabira to the, to the coast. So in the area around the mine you have a lot of expertise regarding mining. When the mine needs some uh, trucks, when they need some repairs, when they need some expertise, they can find that locally. Another important aspect about the success of this mighty operation is the nature of the rock. At the beginning, they were mainly mining the colluvial and the alluvial around uh, the mine. So actually, they were doing an open pit. And then they found uh, emerald rich rock. They were quite lucky because this rock was strong enough to enable mining underground. So actually, they're able to have a tunnel that are wide enough for machines to enter. So here we are inside Belmont with a team of miners that are preparing to uh, place explosives. So the idea is that if we place the explosives here, they will blast, but they will not damage the emeralds that are there. This is the former mining shaft that the miners here at Belmont were using to access the productive area. At this time, they could extract about six tons of uh, ore per hour. Now, with the ramp that they built about seven years ago, they are able to extract about 20 times more ore per hour, basically between 100 and 150 tons of ore per, per hour. Coming uh, last uh, last sorted uh, ore, you get uh, first a vi vibrating belt which uh, allow just to, to take out uh, also the the emerald. Here you get the optical sorter and the all the emerald are just pulling down and it's, uh, it's going uh, toward the safe zone there. So this is the principle of the optical sorter. So you have. The material, the ore that is coming here, where you have green uh, emerald, and you have also all different types of rock. So basically what is happening here, everything will be spread out, and then the optical sorter will identify everything that is green. When he found anything green, he will transfer the information to a machine that will blow some air and push everything that is green in that direction. So you will understand that everything that is, all colors will fall down there, and everything that is green will be pushed aside, and then it will finish here. So this material will be taken to town in order to be sorted, and this material is a waste.